Speaking of the Yankees, we have big news today. It has just been released. A-Rod will get to the uniforms in a sec. You can rest assured that his number will never be retired after the mess the last couple of years. But there has been a statement from A-Rod, and here we have it. To the fans, I take full responsibility for the mistakes that led to my suspension for the 2014 season. I regret that my actions made the situation worse than it needed to be. To Major League Baseball, the Yankees, the Steinbrenner family, the Players Association, and you, the fans, I can only say I'm sorry. I accept the fact that many of you will not believe my apology or anything that I say at this point. I understand why, and that is on me. It was gracious of the Yankees to offer me the use of Yankee Stadium for this apology, but I decided the next time I am in Yankee Stadium, I should be in pinstripes doing my job. I served the longest suspension in the history of the league for PED use. The commissioner has said the matter is over. The Players Association has said the same. The Yankees have said the next step is to play baseball. I'm ready to put this chapter behind me and play some ball. The game has been my single biggest passion since I was a teenager. When I go to spring training, I will do everything I can to be the best player and teammate possible, earn a spot in the Yankees, and help us win. Sincerely, Alex. Okay, so finally, a uh, day or two before spring training, Alex informs us, gives us the Mia Copa, doesn't use the Yankee Stadium, does a relatively decent letter explaining the fact that I screwed up, not the first time, I take responsibility, not the first time. If you don't believe me, I understand that is the first time. And I hope now that I make amends and try to make a contribution to the 2015 Yankees. Here's what I would say about the whole situation, and then we're going to get Harold Reynolds out in a minute. Let me just get 30 seconds on this. Here's what I would say. I don't think the Yankee fan wants to hear from A-Rod. I mean, I, that, that's essentially what I say. Does A-Rod have to do this so he goes to the spring training with a clear conscience, doesn't have to sit there and use Legends Field, doesn't put the Yankee PR staff at quadri with all the media there in, New, in Tampa, wanting to hear what A-Rod has to say. I guess from that perspective, it needed to be done. But from a standpoint of Yankee fans, I don't think they care. I don't think the Yankee, first of all, like 99% of Yankee fans doesn't want A-Rod on the team anyway. Uh, so I just don't think the Yankee fan right now wants to hear anything from A-Rod. If they have that amount of ball club on April 5th, they'll deal with it at that time. I think right now, the Yankees themselves, they'll never admit it. And the Yankee fans themselves who would admit it, I think they want A-Rod to retire. You know what? Hip issues. He hasn't played in a year. He's 40 in July. I think the Yankee fans and the Yankees themselves want A-Rod gone. Now, they got $61 million in the books. They can't have that, the Yankee folks. If he makes the team, he makes the team. But truth be told, I think everybody involved with the Yankees, fans, ownership, front office, and the players want A-Rod out of uniform and away from the team. I think that is the – but they're in a tough spot because they can't be put in – because obviously with the contract, they, he has to go to spring training and he has to basically, you know, unless he's physically impaired, he's going to make the team and the Yankees run a hook for 61 man. But everybody involved wants him out. That's all there is to it. No matter what the statement is, no matter how sincere it might appear, I don't think the Yankee fans, the, the people who I respect, one ear out the other. Here's our pal Harold Reynolds. Let's get some thoughts with him. Nice enough to do double duty for us here today. <laughs> I've talked. Now it's his turn. Harold, what's your take here wow. on this statement from, Harold, from uh, Alex here a couple minutes ago? Well, to follow up on you, uh, that's a lot that you said right there. Um, I thought it was interesting. I mean, he had to release a statement. I think that was the best way to do it. Uh, he's still going to have to meet the, meet the press. That's just going to happen. That happens when you're at the Yankee ballpark. Look, let's face it, Mad Dog, regardless of how you want to look at it, like or dislike, he's the most popular player in our game. For right reasons or wrong, he's going to be the most popular player. And people are going to come and want to talk to him and want to see him play. So I think this statement it says a lot. You know, where he's talking about admitting mistakes. He's uh, talked about to the Yankees. He's apologized to baseball. But I think the biggest thing in the whole deal was that the commissioner says it's over. The union says it's over. The Yankees look at it that way. It's time to play ball. And I think Alex wants to get back to let's see if he can hit and if he can field. And that's what it's about. So was a statement necessary? I think it's necessary for the next steps. But I agree with you. I don't think the fans really wanted to have a statement they don't need to but I think the big step for Alex was 
to move on and go play. And that's where I bring you back in because really at the end of the day, that's that's what it comes down to. Um, the timing, I don't know if it would have made any sense at all to have a press conference at Yankee Stadium. Your thoughts? Uh, I agree with you on that, Harold. I don't think anybody wants to. Uh, I'm with you on that. Statement's the best way to go about it. By the way, MLB.com, here's what the statement looks like. It was handwritten. Uh, and so you see how uh, that Alex handwritten wrote the statement. We had this sincerely Alex on it. That's from MLB.com. They and AP broke this story. Give more the credit in the world, 1 o'clock. There's your statement. Hey, Chris, I'll tell you what. The one thing that, I, that really jumped out at me more than anything else was that he said Alex. Wasn't A-Rod, any of that. It was Alex. And I tell you, for, and I've known him since he was 18 years old. For the first time in probably 10 years, we had lunch about five months ago. He came with no bodyguards. He just showed up and hung out. And he was Alex that I knew when he was 18, 19, 20 years really? old. Really? And that really? was it. And I started to see a change. I really think, and I hope, you know, I'm stepping out on faith here, that he's really changed. I really believe spending time around him that all he wants to do is play baseball, finish his career out. Can he hit? Can he field? We don't know. We'll find out six weeks of spring training. But I do think that I'm starting to see a change. This is, it wasn't the... I got to be seen. I want people around me. I have I have to have somebody open my no door. No kissing. No kissing mirrors. Nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, none correct. of that stuff. I finally saw somebody who was stripped down to the bareness of he wants to play ball. And it was the kid that was hungry to play baseball. That's what right. I did see from a personal standpoint. All right, let's do a couple of things here. A, you seem to agree. And let's forget the fans. You know and I know that if the Yankees had their druthers right now, they would hope that A-Rod physically can't perform and they get the $61 million back remaining on his contract. They would prefer A-Rod be nowhere near Tampa, not battling for some part-time DH role, and they can save the $61 million. You agree with that, correct? Yeah, I do. But here's, here's the thing that's kind of been standing out to me. Uh, if this was the club they had 10 years ago when they were on the great run with all the names that they're retiring now, I don't think you need Alex on that club. You know, but this club right now, they're searching for offense. They're searching for things. If he can perform and play, he's going to be welcome. If he can't, then he's not going to be there anyway. The distractions, yes, they can live without him, no doubt about it. But I do think that the time is so different in the Yankee franchise right now. This isn't a club that's running off and you're saying they're going to win the World Series, they're going to win 120 games. It's a big difference right now. Now it is, and that's fair. Maybe he can be useful. Let's talk about that for a second. He hasn't played baseball in a year, really almost two years. And again, right down to yes. Yeah, he played 50 games there in 2013. So it's been a long, long time. He's going to be 40 in July. Who knows on the hips? What makes us anybody think that in six weeks he's going to prove to the world that he still can swing the bat? What makes us think he can do that, Harold? Well, I think the one guy who really believes he can is Alex. You know, I spoke with him a few times. He's working out. It's the first time in five years he's had a chance to really work out without a surgery. You throw a knee surgery in there as well as the hips. So I think he thinks he can. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't. And I think that's what makes this story so uh, enormous, the curiosity. I, I want to know how Joe Girardi is going to handle it. You know, how is he going to ease him back in? Because it's hard. I, I can't imagine, imagine missing a year and a half of baseball and think I'm going to be able to catch up to a 99-mile-an-hour fastball. Uh, he, was, he, he has the ability. It's been there before, but we'll see. Can he do that? I think that's what makes this so intriguing. All right, now, let me throw a little cold water on the lunch that the two of you had. You a little salad, <laughs> he a little omelet of about, about five months ago. Since then, he made sure he went to Bonds to go train, which yeah, is the last I, thing you should not do. A good and, move. and according to Bonds, said, I'm going to break your home run record. So that, when he should be low key and stay out of anybody who might be associated with PEDs and not be talking about home run records, he was out there with Bonds in San Francisco. How about that? Well, that's, that's the mystery of Alex Rodriguez. Look, he's always going to get in his way in certain things. And so I, that was not the, the brightest move to make. All of a sudden, you're hanging out in that, that crowd, that situation. Uh, but I don't know. I can't explain it for him. It's a move that he probably should not have done. But I do know this, that he loves baseball. And I think that was the other part of his statement, you know, back to something I've always wanted to do as a teenager. Look, he can be the guy. And I'll tell you a quick story. Tino Martinez, you know, he's right in the ballpark with Alex, and he's facing 
uh, Bartolo Colon when he's with the Angels. And he's raked him. He's hit four home runs off him already. And they go to the postseason, and Alex says, hey, what do you think he's going to do to me? You think I should change up my approach? Hello, you hit four homers off him. That's just him always trying to tweak and learn things. Yep. Uh, so, that, I, I don't know. He always gets in his way some way, but hopefully oh, he, he won't now. Hey, now, does he understand that playing third base won't be, a, won't be a factor? Headley's an excellent defensive third baseman. He might get a chance to play there every now and then. A-Rod prides himself on defense. Is he annoyed that that defensive position doesn't appear to be open as we start spring training? Uh, I, I haven't talked to him about that. I'm not sure. Uh, just knowing the competitiveness of any player, I think you go to camp, you try to win the job at third, first, DH, wherever it might be. So I, if I'm Joe Girardi, if I'm the Yankees, I want that guy to be hungry to think he can still win a job. I don't want him to sit there and say, okay, I'm just going to get some at-bats. I don't want that. Look, I got $61 million wrapped up in this guy, and I want to see if I can draw out what I thought when he signed the deal was a potential Hall of Fame player. I want to see if that's still there. Asking an awful lot. Asking an awful lot. Awful now, lot. It's going to be a big challenge, no doubt. But we'll be watching it every day. There's no doubt about it. Now, one last thing on the press. When do you think we'll get the press? We'll ask him if he can lay low in Tampa, not discuss this, and maybe have a press conference if he makes the team before opening day. When's the next time you think that A-Rod will address this to the masses in the media? He's going to have to. I mean, whether he or the Yankees don't want it, there's going to be too big a following. There's going to have to be a similar someday in spring training where he sits down. And maybe it is simply, hey, I answered it all in my statement. Or it might be, I'm just going to go out and play ball. But it's going to be hard just to ignore everybody. The cameras are going to be there. So maybe one day in spring, I think they got to address it quick. It might not be what anybody wants, but eventually you got to get in front of the cameras. And that's really what people are going to want to continue to put the pressure on to see. What about you? When do you think that might happen? I'm not, you know, if I was A-Rod, I wouldn't do it until I made the team. I mean, if, I, if it appears that I'm having a pretty good spring training and I'm assured I'm okay health-wise and I'm going to be in this ball club, then I could see addressing the media maybe right before the end of spring training. I know you're going to tell me that's going to be a circus then for a month yeah. before he does that. So you want to get it over with? I understand that. But I'll tell you, what's he going to tell us next week? We all know he's got to make the team. He's got to see if he's healthy. I'm not sure how they're going to handle this. See, the one thing here, too, real quick before I let you yeah. go, Chris, is that the statement now, now he goes and plays. And the next thing we're going we're to be talking about is, did you see him run? Did you see him swing? He doesn't have any bat speed. Oh, he does have bat speed. Because I think if you're Alex, that's what you want to get down to. Tell me what he's doing on the field. Good job, Howard. Thanks for staying around for such a long part of the day. We'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you coming on today, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.